Hey guys, before start this video, I want to tell something good for you. I'm open group in Skype as you can see, so you can add me on Skype, just ask for joining the group and I will take a look at your channel. If you're posting something useful and good content, I will accept your request, so this way you can share your content, get some views. And if you want something new video from me or help, you can ask in that group. My Skype name in the description below. Good luck and keep watching the video. Hey what's up you guys, Fezo here, welcome back to another Illustrator tutorial. In this video I am going to teach you guys how to create the cartoon style 3D text in Illustrator. And here is the example of what we are going to learn today. Here we have a nice cartoon style text and I am going to show you guys how to create the same thing in Illustrator. For that uh, I am going to open a new document but before opening the document um, make sure you download the template in the description below so you can get the colors from there and also the project file of this cartoon style text. Ok, just go to file and click new and open a new document. I'm going to select this one. Great. And for the colors, I'm going to select my colors, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V and paste it here and put it corner of the project and just go to this option right there and panel option in the row size go to and select other and make it 50 pixel so we can see what's going on uh, in the layer options it's make the thumbnail a little bit bigger just uh, name it colors just double click on the layer and name it color and just one left click uh, between this eye and the layer it says toggle lock just one left click on it and here we go now I'm going to create a new layer bottom of this color and name it text and select your text tool and write your text I'm going to write cartoon and just select the font and I'm going to use the reflect free bold you can find it on dafont.com or you can easily search it on Google and download it for free and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just like 100 uh, 100 128 okay the same size with this one and put it here hold alt on your keyboard and drag it down it's make the copy you can also press ctrl c ctrl v to get the copy of the cartoon text and put it down and select it i'm going to write style it you can write whatever you want and the size will be 175 and using your arrow key just put it bottom of this cartoon text the first text here we go and before uh, I'm going to edit this text just select both of them go to object and click expand and click OK and as you can see there's two layers but I'm going to make it group just select both of them press ctrl G make it group okay now I'm going to uh, duplicate this cartoon style text for that just select it go to object uh, not object go to edit copy and paste in front uh, you can also press ctrl C and ctrl F to paste it front the shortcut is ctrl c and ctrl f so keep that in mind now i'm going to select uh, the top of uh, the layer just one left click on the circle and while this selected just select eyedropper tool the shortcut is i you can also pick it from there as you can see it says eyedropper tool the shortcut is i and one left click on the back uh, background it's make it white and for the bottom of the uh, the second text just select it and here is the stroke option you can increase the stroke i'm going to make it uh, 34 
works good as you can see there the anchor points goes the wrong way uh, for that a shape we will fix it later uh, for now just select pen tool and make sure the foreground color is the same color with that text and the stroke color is none just make a shape to fill that uh, white areas on uh, on the text just keep making the shape just like that and finish it here oops finish it here and open the layer option and just uh, drag it bottom of this group you can also press the shortcut I put the shortcut in the screen so you can see the shortcut just put it uh, bottom of this stroke and select uh, both of them by hold control and select this one and this one go to pathfinder if you don't have uh, before uh, merging that just go to object and expand click ok then uh, we, uh, we are able to merge it just select these two layers go to pathfinder if you don't have pathfinder just go to window and select let me see where it is just go to window and select pathfinder here it is and easily just click merge and here we have the one layer now we can fix the uh, this anchor point just zoom in a little bit uh, with direct selection tool select the anchor point select your pen tool shortcut is P you can also pick it from here and one left click as you can see the under the pen tool uh, when we move on the anchor point the star turns the minus just one left click on it to get the perfect shape just like that just get rid of the anchor point uh, we have two anchor point here so I'm going to make this one this anchor point a little bit up using my direct selection tool just like that and I have a lot of anchor point here uh, so I'm going to fix it just select direct selection tool and select the anchor point just select your pen tool and get rid of that anchor points here so make it that shape just like that looks perfect as you can see and also this anchor points right there And here we have a nice straight line going on now I'm going to add the and the stroke which is which will be red so for that I'm going to select my uh, stroke and go to let me say object pass and select offset pass and make sure the preview is selected so we can see what's going on on the layer and uh, milter limit just select 10 joins milter and off that make it 10 point just click ok and select eyedropper tool and give it to red color and also for the stroke uh, just select stroke select your eyedropper tool and select this color right there ok boom looks good now I'm going to keep editing the anchor points right there. I'm going to make a little bit up. And also for N. Make it up a little bit. Looks perfect. And uh, last thing we are going to add the 3D effect for that just uh, copy the stroke the black stroke press ctrl C ctrl F just duplicate it and move the, uh, the pass bottom of this uh, red one 
just select it just select a selection tool and holding alt and shift on your keyboard just make it smaller and using your arrow key just uh, bring it down just like that looks perfect maybe a little bit smaller okay okay looks good then uh, select your pen tool and make sure the same color with this one and complete the shape just like that and select the shape and put it bottom of this red one you can easily uh, drag it down or uh, using the shortcut you can easily make it up and down using the shortcut uh, I will put the shortcut in the screen so you can see it and just keep making the shape and put it bottom of this red one and another one here just like that it's very simple to do so if you guys have any trouble with this tutorial you can also write the comment below or you can contact me on Skype for the help and uh, after done editing these shapes just hold control on your keyboard and select all layers all paths we created and also uh, the main stroke go to pathfinder and merge it so we can give it colors just select the stroke select eyedropper tool and give nice uh, purple or red color whatever you say so here we have a nice color and for the uh, shadow on the text just select your pen tool before selecting the pen tool just uh, pick the eyedropper tool and pick that color the dark version of this one just pick that and select your pen tool and just make a shape oops just make a shape using the anchor points and drag this, uh, this pass uh, bottom of this red one just like that as you can see it looks cool and uh, keep making the shape mm -hmm. I'm going to make it over there and drag it here and another one here and this one make it a little bit curvy because of D okay just like that and put it bottom of this pass here we go and I'm going to make the little bit curvy shadow here like that just complete the shape and don't worry about the the shape just put it bottom of this uh, red one and as you can see the shape isn't perfect just select it with uh, just select selection tool and select this shape hold shift on your keyboard and select the red stroke here and while these two selected just uh, pick the shape builder tool the shortcut is shift M and as you can see the plus icon on the cursor but when I'm uh, press and hold alt key on my keyboard it will turn uh, the minus as you can see just hold alt on your keyboard and move the cursor here as you can see just one left click on it and boom it looks cool as you can see and we are going to make the same thing same curvy shadow here just select pen tool 
and do the same thing finish the shape put it bottom of the red one select this shape and the let me see that color uh, that red one and using the shape builder tool get rid of that shape just like that and last thing we are going to add to D let me see I'm going to get rid of that anchor points easily with my pen tool Oops. a lot of anchor points here so we can easily get rid of this pen tool and make it just like that looks perfect then we are going to add the shadows on it just like that and make sure the color you select is that one and select both of them shift M for the shape builder tool and get rid of that one and don't forget to put it bottom of this red pass so here we go so you can uh, also add the background just select rectangle tool and make a rectangle just like that and put it bottom of this group and select dark very dark blue just like that and lock the uh, background and here we go here we have a nice uh, cartoon style 3d text you can also uh, create the different styles and different color you can easily select it and change the color if you want and you can also put it on youtube banners twitter header uh, using uh, as a logo so it depends on you and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you don't already and if you want to see lots of tutorials about illustrator just write a comment below and i will make it more okay guys that's all and see you in the next video